Every dish you've ever tasted is an adaptation of something. It's been passed down through time, cultures, generations. Today we'll be making my zucchini fritters with a goat's yogurt and lots of lime, lemon and a bit of mint. My zucchini fritters are inspired by a trip to a Moroccan restaurant. I love the fritters, but they made me feel really sick after, so I've created a healthier version. First thing I wanna say is, with your zucchinis, you do need four zucchinis and you need to grate them, but you need to get the moisture out of them. So once you grate them, pass them through a sieve and that'll start to get all of the water out. If you're finding using a spoon isn't working, get in there with your hands. I found that was the key. And then lay it in some kitchen paper and you can squeeze that over a sink. Just get as much water out as you can. We're gonna start by making the yogurt. You need 250 mils of goat's yogurt. Into that, I'm gonna pop a big chunk of mint and the zest of one lemon. Then we want some salt and pepper to taste. Give it a little mix up and you can pop it in the fridge or if you're making them straight away like we are today, you just set it aside and save a little bit of paprika right to the end. And I'm gonna pop about one tablespoon or a little bit less of coconut oil in there. Now for our mixture. So we've got our grated zucchinis in here. Then I'm adding half a cup of buckwheat flour, half a cup of quinoa flour. These are our binding agents. A little pinch of baking powder, fresh coriander. I'm gonna spike it with some chili too. I'm addicted. Then we've got some turmeric and some ground cumin. You don't have to go as mental as I've just gone with the herbs, but I love it. Next in goes some red onion, finely chopped, and a season with salt and pepper. You wanna give it a good mix together so that all the flavours bind. To make this stick together perfectly, we're gonna add two organic eggs. All right, we're ready to go. So bring your bowl over to your fry pan, spoon of the mixture, pop it in. And you can press it down as well. It depends how big your fry pan is, but I just do a couple at a time. So they're going to need three to four minutes on each side, or until they're nice and golden. All we've got to do is top it with a nice dollop of this minty yogurt. That's the top. A little hit of paprika. And a few wedges of lime. Easy.